Hey, what's up, Hobie Tribe? Thanks for joining me today. Today, we are in this beautiful slot canyon bringing to you another torture test. So we have had a few torture tests on our channel. They've always been popular. You guys have found them very interesting. We've actually done them on the OV Light synthetic bags. I did that one in my backyard. Um, that one worked out really, really well. I did one with a Loftec top quilt bag. Um, that worked out pretty well. Probably not quite as well as the first one, but uh, the top quilt itself, we we messed around a few things, and that's how we got to Loftec 2.0. That's what I'm gonna be testing today. By far, I think it's the best installation we've had. Um, super, super excited about this test. And because of that, I'm actually testing this in a more real world scenario where I am far from a vehicle. I'm not in my backyard. If things go bad, they could go really bad. We've, we've backpacked in here quite a ways. So we're gonna test this installation. So what is Loftec 2.0? Loftec 2.0, is 80% of the same Loftec that we've been using. And now we've mixed 20% of a premium 800 plus fill power hydrophobic coated down. The reason that we did that is they create a synergistic effect where the down actually creates a more stable insulation so that we can get it in these larger baffles and it fills the baffle up. The Loftec itself creates the ability for it to stay lofted when it is wet. So down can fail if it gets completely wet the synthetic will not. Still is gonna compress like a down bag, um, loft like a down bag, stay warm like a down bag. In fact, it's very comparable to about a 650 fill power down bag as far as warmth values. As we took this insulation and showed it in a few shows this past uh, winter, February months, specifically in the Pacific Northwest, uh, people had a ton of interest in this. It's there, obviously there's a lot more rain, a lot more moisture. People were very excited about having a synthetic bag that looked like, performed like a down bag. Um, as I look at going to Alaska sometime, hopefully in the near future, I definitely cater towards this where it can rain and rain and rain. Um, or in the winter months where stuff just doesn't dry out. This Loftec insulation is kind of becoming my go-to and kind of a crowd favorite. So let's go ahead and torture test this, see how it really does. We're gonna be dunking it in this river right here. It's full of eroded water, so it's completely dirty. That may affect the insulation value in and of itself. We'll see, but we're gonna soak it in the river. Um, and again, just, just realize too, soaking it in the river, this is not a crazy real world scenario. Um, it's really hard to get a bag this wet. Typically you'd have to compress a bag, put it under water, uncompress it, to allow it to get to that level of moisture, um, which would be really hard to do in a real life scenario. But we're gonna put it through the worst case scenario that could possibly happen and sleep in it tonight, see if it stays lofted, see if it stays warm, see if it dries out by morning. So let's go ahead and go get it wet. Okay, brand new Atlas bag, first one that we've actually had in person. About to get wrecked in this water. Wow. how this doesn't want to fail already, right? So it's, the outside's completely soaked, the inside has water in it, and it's still wanting to float on top, stay lofted. So now I'm gonna try to compress it and pull the water into the bag. Oh, and get my feet wet in the process. Put it inside out where there's no DWR coating on the shell. See if we can get more water in there. My hands are freezing. You gotta feel it. Yeah, you gotta move along. You gotta feel it, feel it, feel it. Do you gotta feel it, feel it, feel it, do you gotta I think it's soaked up. All that good. Okay, so we just soaked the bag. It's completely drenched. You can still see it's got a lot of loft in it. It's also got a lot of water in it. So it's about an hour before uh, dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this on my tent and try to get it to drip dry a little bit before I climb in it. So um, 
it got really dirty. Like that water is filthy. So I don't know how much of that got into the insulation and how much of an effect that'll be. But like I can tell my zipper doesn't want to work that well. There's that much dirt just covering the bag. Um, anyways, so I'm just gonna lay this on the tent, let it drip dry, and then I'll climb in it tonight. All right, so I went ahead and hung my sleeping bag up rather than put it on the tent over there um, just so that the water could drain out a little bit easier. And then I put my feet high because my feet have the hardest time drying out the bags when I've done these in the past. It's still pretty dang wet down here and it's super dirty, but it's amazing how dry this part is after uh, it's probably three hours since it was fully soaked. Um, yeah, I mean, and everything is definitely lofted. It stayed lofted the whole time, but very well lofted. The outside's actually more dry than the inside. I probably should have turned it inside out, but go throw it in the tent and climb in for the night. All right, so I'm in the tent. I'm about to climb into the bag. This is my least favorite part because it's usually the coldest. Once I'm in there, I usually heat back up. I have my fleece face mask and beanie. That's just really, really critical for this. I forgot um, to bring a long sleeve shirt that was not cotton, so I had my cotton shirt on from earlier today, so I, I took that off and I've got my loft tech jacket on for the time being. So, not terrible. It's definitely the wettest up here though, so. That is one really nice thing about having just loft tech stuff, loft tech jacket is, it can get wet. I can sleep in it. I'm gonna need two hands with how much dirt is in this zipper. It was, we unzipped it a handful of times until we put it in the river. There's just that much dirt on stuff, but. That's really not bad. Not bad at all. So this is probably the most dry that I've ever been in a bag. It really drained the water out of this thing. Um, I don't know if it's at full loft with all the dirt and stuff it took in it, but it fills it fills at full loft to me. Um, warm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think I'm gonna make it. We'll see. I'm dipping into the 40s, I think, right now. So not terribly cold for a 15 degree bag, um, but that's when it's not soaking wet. So we'll turn off the light, go to bed, and I'll report in the morning. Just put my shirt back on. I ended up sleeping the night without the shirt because I was super hot in the jacket. Um, I'm dry. This bag completely, completely dried out. I'll try to do some close-ups to kind of show you, but my feet are dry, everything's dry. All right, so right there you can see the minimum temperature of 36 degrees for the night. And then as you look at this bag, you can see that it's completely dry. Inside and out. It's lofted too. there under my pillow is just the only tiny wet spot everything else is completely dried out so that's honestly like a better test than anything else I've done hanging it up I think a little bit more water got out while it was hanging up but I mean it just shows you the point that even though there's down in here the Loftec synthetic gives it body and allows the water to drain out and down collapses I think it just gets stuck in there but I slept great I slept hot, like I was warm most of the night, almost too warm. It got down to 36 degrees, so um, this is a 15 degree bag, so obviously there's a pretty big disparity there, but um, with it being soaking wet, I thought you know, I'd rather be in a 15 degree bag when it could get you know, down to low 30s than a 30 degree bag. I guess the bottom line is it would be the same result. I dried out 
the insulation's working at max capacity. The bag is still filthy from that water, but uh, totally fully lofted, so worked worked great. Um, so if if you are someone who has any fears of sleeping or getting your bag wet, getting a down bag wet and having it fail, this is definitely the bag to look at. Um, again, you know, places that just have a lot of moisture, if you're doing a lot of winter camping, things like that, definitely look at the Loftec 2.0. Um, for a comparable bag to a 600 fill power down, you get a lot, a lot of advantages with Loftec. So, um, one obviously is the, the waterproofing, but, you know, durability, maintenance, just there's a whole handful of things that are really, really good with it. So, anyways, I'm going to wake this dog up and uh, get up for the day.